Hi guys. Hey, it's Lisa here from Lisa Perez Studios. And um, as you guys can see, I have a book here that I've just finished. Um, I'm calling it Ladies in the Garden. And it's a lot of pictures that are, um, are green and yellow. I used some really pretty pictures and images that I got off of Mrs. Coggs. Um, I've used her digis in it. And um, anyway, and let's get started. So, so first I used one of the books from the um, Reader's Digest and I, I um, gutted the, the pages out and I just repurposed this. And this is the front. I just think it's so pretty. And I used this, just a simple tie closure on here. Around, wrapped it around. And then, um, let's open it up here. And then I put a doily on. Part of the doily on here. Then I, um, and then I put a book plate on here. And I left it blank so you can fill it in, whatever you want to put in there for that. So. Let's go ahead and open it up and get started. So this is the front cover. And this was part of the plate that was um, on the front of the book, um, on this page here actually. And I just took it off and I kind of made a tag out of it and I put it back in here. And oh, I used Tim Holtz paper for some of this as well, wallflower um, paper pack. And then I used these beautiful um, images from this digital kit. I don't remember the name of this digital kit but um, it is the sunflowers on it. It's really pretty and this fits in here and I and I kind of fussy cut it around around it to make this pocket around this paper. And then this, I put this pocket here and I put some butterfly, um, some butterfly lace, lace trims here. And then this right here is a book, is a tag that I made. And it's part of the um, echo dyed paper that I did. I did some a while back and, a, and I added some of that echo dyed paper in here and this is, some of that there. So it's th it's in here throughout the book also. And here's like what I was saying. Here's an eagle dyed paper. It's an envelope. And I also put some paper inside of it. And um, it came out really nice. My eagle dyed paper came out really nice. I'm going to do a video one of these days on showing you how to do that. How to create that. And that would be fun to do. Back in there. There's some more pages. This page just kind of blank. And then this actually is the other side of the doily that I put on the front. This this part of this doily is the other side of this doily. So I just cut that in half. Put that there. And then yesterday, if you watched my video yesterday, I did some tags from my calendars. And this is one of them <laughs> that I did. And I just added it in here. I thought that was it looks kind of pretty in here. Kind of matched the colors and stuff. So put that in there with the eyelash trim. And then this is just oh, like a little, um, some paper to put some things on. And this, this paper was actually from the original book that was inside. It was one of the pages inside of the, this original book. So I put that there. See the side of that. Some tea dyed paper and some just, um, this pattern paper, different things. I love this little picture here. It's like a, a picnic. People are relaxing, having a picnic, and then I made this little book and put in the garden. And it's just a little, a little book with just torn pages in it to put things in, whatever. Right? No, it's your mini book. Of course, I always put a mini book in all of my journals, pretty much. And then, oh, and then I, um, I stitched around it, and I put some kind of like, um, I don't know. It didn't come out really well, but I. I tried to put some of this on the edge and sewed it down and it and zigzagged around it and so it's on there so and this is just kind of I use these paper clips to hold it in but it's just really a floating pocket a floating pocket and you can put some pages in there and this is Mrs. Cog's paper and image and this is also the drawing card from her kit it's so pretty just matched it so well and she by the way has the most beautiful <laughs> beautiful beautiful papers and and they just print out so nice and that's the back and so you can put things in there whatever you want and I just use these little teardrop teardrop um, paper clip just to 
kind of clip it in and it's kind of heavy it's kind of so i used two paper clips to put it in like that and then this some of the mrs cogs um pocket and tag and this is from another kit that i got and then this opens up and here's another garden tag i thought that was so pretty room so for bit and of course another echo dyke paper um tag right here and this will put the eyelash trim on that one too as well in this pocket i actually made this pocket out of some papers and things put those together some little papers and then this is like a little book with like some echo, more echo dyke paper that i made and I put that in here to for writing on your journal pages for journaling and everything like that and that just folds there and then um I got some of this little scrunchy um I actually took took apart a hair scrunchie I'll show you what it looked like it was a hair scrunchie like this <laughs> and somehow I took I took the elastic out of it clipped it off and somehow it, it ended up being in this strand that looked kind of like this. Once I take it all apart, it looks like the strand like this. And this is awesome. And so I'm gonna tear this other one apart too and just get, I love this. I think, and like it just put it around the edge like that for a little, little, a little tiny ruffle. And it's a pocket too, so it's cute. Uh, really, it's really cool. So if I could get more of those, I'd buy them because they are so awesome. Here's a doily and some more pages here. And then this is a little, I took a, um, so, uh, some flowers out of a out of a book out of a gardening book i took this and i i copied it on some brown paper i made instead of it being white and then i added like a little hole punch here and then just put some little little ribbon through it and it's on both sides and you flip it open and here's another beautiful image with a bow at the bottom and here's tag that i and i took it from different kits and stuff and i kind of put it through there a card and and it kind of matches it that's cute i think i think it came out really nice all right this hooks in there and there's that beautiful lady in yellow and this is the background is of course the um tim holtz paper so that folds that and this is the inside of the tim holtz paper and that other kit that i got and i just put some tags in here this i think is from artie mays her free her freebies on artie mays and then this is um, some cards I got through iLupa online and she just does these really neat tags I love these and then this is the back of it and I just and then so then I took these in here it's like down so up up it's an up and a down pocket and here's the other pocket with the same same tag and, but different butterflies of course and then um, dream this one says dream I thought that was really cute and that's the back of that one too and it matches this actually was part of a kit that matches these these little things I put on here so this one the back back to that with that these little tags and here is a side pocket with another Mrs. Cog's um, image and I left it this is a journaling card and then this I added some equidite paper uh, I loved this it came out so pretty um, this green right here was really amazing because it was it was kind of like a, a purplish color um, hydrangea leaf and I put a couple of them there and it came out really pretty green on it when I when I echo dyed it and then some more leaves these were purple also from my tree in the front and they're kind of like a maple leaf looking leaf and yeah, it's really interesting when you're when you, when you echo dye it because you just don't ever know what color it's going to be because it's even though the leaves might be a different color, it's it might dye, dye a totally different color <laughs> than what you think. <laughs> it's really really amazing actually. So there's that, and here's some more tea dye paper, and here's um, here are two journaling cards. And here's a little um, this is a little bag that I made out of some paper that I had, and then this is like another little. Uh, another image that I made into a pocket and I just put these little on here and I, I put a little button on the top of here on each one of these and then um, then this is also a big a big pocket too this, this is a big pocket on be behind here and there's also a pocket here and in front so you can put things in there 
And then this, I thought this, I had to put this in there, so cute. This is just a little rabbit. It really, you know what, it, it goes with it just because of the flowers that match it. But here's a little rabbit, and it's one of those, one of those old um, stationery kind of kits that you put in the mail. And I thought it was kind of cute, so I put it there. Then this is the last page, and then this is, this was also paper that I got from the original book, and I just made a little, a little place to just write things or whatever if you want. And I, I did some, some paper punches, stuff on the side. And then I also took from the kit, and I put this little pocket here, and just tucked that in there. So, anyway, that's, that's the book. That is the book. What do you guys think? I think it came out pretty nice. And um, this is going to be listed in my Etsy shop very soon. Um, be, be, tuned, be, be looking for that if you're interested in, in purchasing this journal. Let me know. And I will um, just look in there. And it's going to be listed today or tomorrow. Whatever, whenever I can get it in there. And um, so if you're interested, you can look at that. So. So anyway, guys, that's it of my flip through. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later on, on the next video. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm still working on it, but um, I'll be sure to let you guys know um, everything that's coming up. So, okay, guys, well, thank you for watching, and you guys have a blessed day, and I will see you later. Bye!